Hey, 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 everybody, what is going on? Serial Love of Jav here, and today I'm playing Entropia Universe. What we're going to be doing today is we're going to be kicking this video off with a huge announcement for me, at least personally, in Entropia Universe. I've got some crazy new gear. So what is it? What do you guys think it could be? I'm not even sure if it's in the screenshot. If it is, I ruin the surprise, but if it isn't, ta-da! Here we go. Look at this, look at this, look at this. My avatar is equipped with some killer armor. So yeah, for those of you guys who don't know, what I'm wearing right now is some crazy good armor. I have a full set of Mayhem armor. This armor has 13 acid, 13 burn, 13 cold. That sounds good, but wait till you get to it. 43 cut protection, 13 electric, and then it's got 43 impact, 43 stabs, some penetration, and some shrapnel. But that stab, impact, and cut protection is huge. In addition to this, because I have that full set, I get 3% increased reload speed, which is just crazy. This is some sick armor right here. This is some crazy good armor, and I'm so glad to have it because it's going to take my game to the next level. That's right, folks. I've got some decent guns, but right now I have some awesome armor. And it's all thanks to Dracul. So I worked with him earlier on an armor video, and he was nice enough to give me this set of armor just out of the kindness of his heart and because, you know, it helped him out with the video. But yeah, it, huge shout out to him. He didn't have to do it, but he came out and gave it to me anyways. He said he saw me just getting my ass kicked with those Amubu and he knew how to fix the problem and he, he fixed the problem. This, you know, this, this is like fixing a leak in the plumbing by installing a whole new plumbing system with, a, with, 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 you know, water instead of bad water i don't know you guys get what i'm saying though this is some of the sick gear that i've had right here so if you guys are looking for armor be sure to visit genesis tower b floor five and seven that's where his store is he sells some awesome sets of armor and honestly he's got some stuff that you won't find anywhere else in the game so if you're just looking to peruse and see what's up he's got it anyways now that we've got this out of the way and you guys can all accept the fact that i'm looking to fly in the sick armor it's time to get on with the hunt. So what I've got is I've got 50 PEDs of ammo. And if you guys know me, if you guys know Serial Overdrive at all, you know where I'm going to be taking this. I'm going to be killing some Hoglo. So I'm headed to Treasure Island City. And I'm going to be headed up to kill some Hoglo because I can finally do it without dying. Honestly, I upgraded to the LR25 and I thought this is my chance. I can take these things. But they were hitting me too damn hard. I couldn't take Hoglo. It was just an impossible task for me because I was just using ghost armor. I was using just little old ghost armor. But now I've managed to take it to the next level, thankfully, with a little bit of help, of course. And we can... Uh, we can kill some cool stuff. So let's get out there. Let's hunt some hoglo. Let's look for some hoffs. And let's see what happens, folks. Because this is going to be good. I can feel it. This this is just crazy, man. Like, for those of you guys who don't know Entropia Universe, you don't know how, like, insane this set is. But this, this is really some cool armor here. And I love the color scheme on it. It's going to make for some amazing screenshots right here. And it's just... All around, this is a this is an awesome thing for me. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm super psyched to have it, especially the fact that I've got a full set. Like, th there's people selling these sets. You can see this isn't one of those like one in ten armors or anything like that. I used a one in ten armor in one of my videos actually. Uh, again, shout out to Dracul. He gave me some really cool stuff to wear. But um, yeah, this this is 100% mine. Like, I don't have to give it back to him, and not because I stole it, because he he willingly handed it over to me without any sort of you know. Yeah, 100% mine, so I'm, I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited because this is going to allow us to kill some really cool creatures in Entropia Universe, and I'm hoping that you guys are just psyched to see it too. Uh, so let, let's get out here. Treasure Island, um, usually, usually Treasure Island is Hoglo. Hopefully they still have it. The nice thing about this is there was a big uh, falling out between the owner of Treasure Island and Mindark, so he set all the taxes to zero as a big middle finger, finger to Mindark. So hopefully this means that we can find some hoglo, kill some hoglo, and get some good loot. Um, if there aren't any hogs here, that's going to be very disappointing. This is the, I love coming out here because it's actually like, a, it's been a pretty good spawn for me. Um, it's pretty like, it's not too densely populated. It's easy to find these things usually, and what it means is I can just pick them off here and there. I don't have to really be too uh, 
too careful about backing into another one or anything like that. But because it's a loose spawn, we're probably going to have to just jump in this little flying vehicle and see if we can't find some here. Hopefully I don't run out of fuel. I've actually started to like this vehicle. I've managed to be able to do a few barrel rolls in it, which is... Oh, there we go. Sec all right, it ran out of fuel, but we found a hoglow, so it's it's all good. I was like, second I get into this thing, it just runs out of, uh, out of fuel, but it's okay. All right, so we're, we're fully healed. We've got our hoglow here. It's a level 31 young. Let's take this thing on. We're going to be using all the skills that we've got here. We're going to be trying to make this work. We're going to be shooting it, walking back, hoping that we can take this. I, I've never done this. This could honestly be... I th I'm pretty sure, like, I looked up the stats on Entropia Wiki. I'm pretty sure I can take this thing with this new armor, but I'm not 100% sure. So we're about to... Oh, my God. Folks, did you see that? The first shot was deflected. He missed two shots, and I deflected that first shot from him. Look, oh, my God. You guys don't know how crazy this is. Hoglos have just been kicking my ass 24 7 i have not been able to take them they're just this impossible beast for me to tame and look at this right now they're hitting me for less damage than an atrox this is crazy and for those of you guys who are going to say serially you shouldn't be doing this because your gun isn't killing it in 12 shots you guys can go sit in the corner because you're no fun to hang out with this, this, this is awesome look at that look at that right there no problem i just blew through it like it was nothing folks I was, I'm, I'm excited because, like, I was thinking, like, can I do this? And now, now after this, after that shot that I took, after being able to kill this, I'm like, what else can I do? It's not just can I do it. It's like, what else can we do? I, I need to fly up to Club Never Die. I need to start taking on some big stuff. I need, I need to get a better gun. I've got an LR30 sitting in my inventory. I haven't been using it because I'm not up to that skill yet. I've got to start skilling up. I've got to start focusing. I've got to start going for some missions. I think I've actually got a hoglow mission that's going to give me a good bit of skills here. Let's let's check it out. Here we go. We've got our iron hoglow. Look at that. It's going to give me four PDs of aim, dexterity, dexterity. Wow, I really screwed that one up. Or biogenesis. So yeah, I can I can come out here and farm hoglows now. This is this is spectacular, folks. Like, so. In Entropia Universe, there's like these certain these certain like moments that you hit that are just really like, I can do it, right? So for me, when I first started the game, a lot of my like society mates early days were hunting Fifoids, and I could not take them whatsoever. It was like this impossible mob for me. So that was one moment when I could take those things on and kill them and I didn't have to worry about them getting me. I was like, I can do it. The next moment was when I could take on A tracks because those things were always just as a newbie, it was always like I'm out there like running around, I'm mining, I'm doing good, and then all of a sudden out of nowhere an Atrax chases me down and kills me. That was when I got Ghost Armor. After that, I got some better guns, some better gear, and I could take on Atrox. And those were like the, the Atrax. Atrox, basically, I thought they were Atrax, and then I'd like run up a little too close, they'd attack me, and I'd be like, oh, I can't do it. They'd kill me, and it just sucked. And now I can take those out, right? And after that, it was Crystal Palace, which you guys saw me do that. Um, managed to pull that off with my Gremlin and my LR25, and then it was Hoglow. And after after Crystal Palace, I've got to admit, I came out here with the LR25. I wasn't. I was like, can I do it? I couldn't do it. I could not take them. I could not take these Hoglow. They were hitting me for too much. I was like, oh, I can't do it. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to really bite the bullet, save up, make this thing happen. And um, turned out. Drakil came through in the clutch. I didn't even ask him for this, but he came through in the clutch, gave me the six set of armor, and now I'm able to take these guys. So this this is uh I don't I don't know how I'm gonna go back. That's one of the things too. Now that I've got this, it's a curse. He cursed me. Cause now I've just gotta I've gotta keep this armor set, right? Like I'm gonna run out of this and then I'm gonna have to just double down and buy another set. But man, oh man, I'm I it's it's exciting. It's exciting. It's a really cool to see. This is really cool to have this. So I'm, um, I'm, de I'm, I'm definitely, definitely loving this. The fact that I can take these Hoglo without them really doing too much damage to me whatsoever. Um, it's a crazy set of armor. I mean, look at this. We're just taking it like pros. I'm just walking backwards. This thing's like slowly hitting me. It's no big deal. I'm, this, this is easier. This is easier for me to do than it is for me to do Atrox and Ghost. And that, that's saying something, because I, you know, th those are pretty easy. That's a common mob. Like, I go out to take those guys on, and it's just like, a, let's kill some Aatrox, 
let's chill out, let's relax, let's get some kills, I'll talk to you guys, it's all gonna be good. And now it looks like I'm gonna be doing that with Hoglos. So this is, uh, this is awesome. I can't, like, it, it, it's, it's a good feeling. I, I don't know, like, you, you guys, if, if you get into Entropia, there's gonna be moments like this where you're just like, oh wow, like, I can finally do this. And this is, this is one of those moments for me, so I'm glad I could take you guys along for that ride. Um, unfortunately, the spawn is not too dense, so it looks like we might need to might need to throw out some vehicles here to just drive around and find these things in. Because what I don't want to do is just be sitting here all day running around a land area looking for Hoglo. So like I said, the spawn is very, very sort of open. There's very few people here, um, but it's um, it, it works, right? Like... Since, since it is very sparse, it means that I can actually go, like, hoglo to hoglo. I don't have to worry about pulling extras. It, it's nice. Uh, but with that, it means that you've just got to do a little bit more hunt, more hunting when it comes to finding the hoglo. Hunting when it comes to hunting the hoglo, if that makes sense. Hunting down the hoglo. That's, that's probably where the word came from, to be honest. So, makes sense. Anyways. Here we go, we got another one. We're just gonna be taking these things on like it is nothing. And these these are some big mobs. So there is a chance that we're gonna actually see some like cool items, some cool global, something awesome happen here. So that's, uh, fing fingers crossed, folks, fingers crossed. I might even have to do a Twitch stream with this stuff because this is, uh, I mean, this is some good armor, right? Like, this, this is stuff I think that people like to watch because I'm taking on mobs now that, even if you're a mid-tier player, it's gonna be, these guys are no joke, right? Um, and I, I think honestly, I don't want to get ahead of myself, but I, I think if we had to, Chris, I think if we had to like club never die, then I, th I think we'll be able to take some cool stuff on in the future here, folks. So I'm, I'm excited for that. You guys should be excited too because you guys are gonna get to watch the videos that I've. Eh. That sound now I sound horrible. I ha I I hate myself for even even thinking that sentence. But you guys should be excited because it means we're gonna be able to do some cool stuff. That's basically what I mean to say. So let's, uh, let's take on another one of these. Level 31. I'm hoping maybe we can find some matures, some old hogla. We can really uh, really test this thing. Because I'm just not feeling it. Th these guys are too easy. This is... I was I came in here thinking it would be too hard. And honestly, now I'm looking at this. I'm like, is it even... Should I have even bothered? Um, and obviously, I should have. The answer to that is yes. And I, I don't know what's going on with this. I don't know if you guys have been having this problem. But right here... I'm, I've been getting this weird loot lag where I'll basically fail to shoot and I just stand there without doing anything. It sucks because I'm doing no damage to this mob, but it's doing damage to me. Sorry about that. I just need to. Ha I, I need to take some water. Sorry there. Uh, that's one of the things that like I tr I try not to get too, and then I try not to drink too much on. Like, when I'm recording or anything like that, I try to come in prepared and be good to go. But just, I've got this water sitting here because I'm like, my throat's going to get a little parched. And it, it, it did. So what is this paint? Is this, I don't think this is rare paint, but everything I loot from this, this hoglo, I'm like, ooh, is this something? This isn't anything. We've got a ton of these sitting in my storage. Um, this paint is nothing either. Yeah, I've been looking through my storage. I have so much junk there. I really need to get in there and just start selling some stuff. But I, I, I don't have enough of it. I want to have big stacks so I can actually get some decent markup on it and sell it on auction. I just don't have the stacks of a lot of stuff yet. So I've got to... That, that is because I'm not focusing on one mob. If I... What, what, oh, wow. I pulled out the wrong gun here. I ran way too close. I didn't even notice that I had a pistol pulled out. I'm getting I'm getting cocky here because look at this. It's just his, his shots are just bouncing off of me. Now, of course, this does mean I'm going to be taking more decay. Um, so that, that, that shouldn't be taken lightly either. Uh, basically, I'm taking more decay on my armor per shot. So what this means is that while I can do cool mobs like this, I'm not going to do it all the time because I want to be able to kill them fairly fast. Uh, ideally, I would be able to kill this hoglo in 12 shots or somewhere around there because that means that I'm, I'm maxing out my strength, but I'm not taking too much armor damage, whereas right now I am taking a good bit of armor damage. You can see my avatar because I have a decent amount of skills should be able to dodge a few shots it should get that miss popping up but oh, overall this isn't you know you, you don't want to buy the biggest possible armor and then take on mobs that are way too big for you but but for the odd video or two it's it's definitely worth it because i mean there's a better chance of a global there's a little bit more hype around it it's something that most players can't do so i think it's fun to watch 
And if, if you guys know me, if you've watched me at all, like, when, when I was hunting with Lure Spade, when I'm hunting with other people, I'm always coming out here to Treasure Island to hunt some hoglers to start it off. And the fact that I can finally take it solo, it's like, you know, that's, 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 that's a dream for me. So I'm, uh, I'm really psyched to be able to do it. It's... It's hard to explain. Like I said, in, in Entropia Universe, there's these little goals that everybody, like, sets for themselves. There's these things that people are just like, oh, it'd be awesome if I could do this. And being able to hunt these things, that was one of the things I've always said to myself. Like, it'd be awesome if I could do this. And now that I can, like, I've got the gun that's good enough. I've got the armor that's good enough. I'm just fully ready to go. I'm repeating myself too much here. Anyway, so let's, let's keep moving on, folks. So, yeah, I'm, I'm going to try and uh, move on to another topic. It's just, it's hard because I'm so psyched. Um... Yeah, I don't know. La last video I did was, like, pretty well received. Some of you guys asked me not to talk about politics. I've mentioned it once. I think that's a little bit of an overreaction. So we're going to talk about politics for the next ten minutes here, folks. No, I'm not going to do that. You know, pe people people watch videos to relax, to get their minds off stuff. I'm not going to start a debate with you guys because you can't respond. I'm going to win the debate. That's just going to suck for you guys because you know I'm better than you, but you can't even respond, so you're just going to feel left out. Uh, no, nah, um... So yeah. Oh, there we go. That's what I was looking for right there. Look at that. 71 PEDs. That's what I'm talking about, folks. I was I was waiting for that. I want I wanted to get get a global or something like that. 71 PED Hoglo Global Solo Serial Overdrive right there. That was that's some awesome. That's some awesome stuff. That's what I want you guys to tune in for because these mobs are just way more likely to hit globals like that. So it's it's um yeah, it's awesome to see. But yeah, let's let's keep this going here. For those of you guys wondering too, if I'm ever online, why you never see me online, I'm invisible right now. Um, the reason I do that is for for recording and just when sometimes I want to like watch TV and just zone out. I just leave my avatars invisible a lot of the time because if I turn it on and sense that I don't want to talk to you, it's nothing personal. But sometimes I just want to zone out and I feel like I'm being rude if I'm online you guys are messaging me and i'm just like half there like oh yeah like hey all right yeah sure man no like when i turn myself visible that means like i'm fully here like it's time to talk i'm not recording you're not bugging me or whatever it is right um and when, when i'm invisible that just means that like i'm not I'm not around you know i'm not i'm not up for talking right now so that, that's how i do it with all my sort of social stuff um i noticed some of you guys have been like hitting back about that recently so i just thought i'd call that out it's not that it's not that I'm never online. It's not that I never play Rust or I never play Warframe or I never play this. It's just that a lot of the time, like, I'll have a TV going in the background or I'm just, like, looking to sort of... Usually a lot of the time I do this, like, right before bed. Like, I'll just zone out, especially with the Warframe and Entropia. Those are two, like, zone-out games. Rust, I can't do that. Rust, like, I'll always get into a fight right before I'm about to go to bed. And then, like, the adrenaline's pumping because I just got an AK. And, you know, I, t I took 30 hours of work from someone. And it's just like, ooh. But when that adrenaline gets pumping, that's actually very bad because then I can't sleep. So I stop playing Rust. I stop playing Rust before bedtime because then I find myself. It's like in Rust, at least. It's like I make a play. Like adrenaline's going. It's like 12 a.m. I'm like, all right, man. Just gotta, just gotta calm down. I'm just gonna do some farming. Get another play. Another play. Another play. Stuff's just going off. I'm looting here and there. Everything's going nuts. I'm gonna make a run to the oil rig. I'm doing all this crazy stuff. My base is like running with electricity. There's traps. There's laser beams shooting everywhere. Everything's awesome. And then look at the clock. It's 5 a.m. and I've got work in two hours. I'm like, oh boy, serial overdrive. We've done it again. You know, you've you've conquered Rust at the cost of your job. This is not what we want to be doing. Uh, so yeah, Rust in the middle of the night or Rust uh, night nighttime Rust is just not a not a serial overdrive thing. It's usually Warframe or Entropia Universe. With this, like when I'm recording, like those globals do psych me out. But honestly, unless I'm getting like a Hoff or an all-time high or something crazy, I'm not gonna be going nuts. And if I get an all-time high, if I manage to make a 30,000 PED loot or a 300,000 PED loot, or what, what's the all-time high? What is the craziest? That's not what I wanted to do. Um, I just jumped out of my vehicle. What is the craziest loot in Entropia Universe? Yeah, 300,000 PEDs. If I manage to loot 300,000 PEDs, I'll, I'll be up all night. I'm calling into work sick the next day. Like, I'm going nuts. But, um... Outside of that, like, we're, we're probably good to go. It's probably a good game to chill out for. Um, and Warframe's the same way. Like, there's not these big moments. It's a lot of, like, grinding. So we're just working it out, chilling out, and I like that. Let's go ahead and convert this ammo. You can see here, we, we, st 
Oh man. This is crazy. Alright, we gotta we gotta convert here. We we start with fifty PDs. We're running at ninety right now. Like this is this is awesome. Um I saw no, another hoglo up there, so I'm gonna kill that too, because you know, we, we just gotta keep this going here, folks. We're we're at twenty minutes, but I'm gonna make this just a little bit of a longer video. I've been stretching these Entropia Universe videos out. Some of you guys don't like it, you're like serial get to the point. But I, I, for me at least, the point is that this is gonna be like a rambling video. And that's sort of that's, that's sort of what we're aiming for, right? We're, we're aiming for a video that's just going to give you guys something to listen to while you're playing Entropia, something to sit back and relax to. Honestly, I found that podcast-wise, I'm, like, running out of podcasts to listen to. I'm doing, like, PKA, Misfits, Joe Rogan. I'm, I'm, I, I listen to the news now and then, but I'm trying to sort of detach from that a little bit just because, like, I don't know, right right now, like, the current situation, just things upset me. Like, it's a, it's a pandemic. Like, everybody's going to be upset. Everybody's, everything's going to be charged. It's, it's better to, like, tune out from the news for, like, a day or two at a time. So that's what I've been doing. Um, maybe that's good, maybe that's not. You can say I'm ill-informed, I guess, but whatever. Um, but, yeah, like, I, I tune out from things, and I just haven't found as many podcasts to listen to. So, um... I figured just making these videos a little bit longer is probably going to help you guys out. And if it's a how-to video, if I'm going to actually, like, discuss something. So if you guys see a video that's titled, like, how to be, uh, how to make a million dollars in Entropia, A, that's clickbait. Or it's going to be deposit two million dollars and lose a million. Um, you know, it's going to be something like that. But if I'm making a video that's actually, like, a how-to video, it's going to be, I'm going to make them short and to the point. You guys see that with Rust. You see that with Warframe. You see that with literally every how-to video I do. And I do that with Entropia Universe too. The beginners guys just tend to be a little bit longer because with Entropia Universe, since there's real cash involved and all that, it's a lot harder for me to say just go big and mess around and find what you enjoy because that's not a good solution in this game. It's better to explain eco and all that to everything. Just everyone just right off the bat, dump the information on them and hope they don't lose too much. Uh, so that, that's why I do that because I used to try and make it into these like bite-sized segments. And the problem I have there is, like, I tell people, like, okay, here's how you do it. You get a gun, you do this. And next thing you know, someone's like, oh, I've got a Jester D1 unlimited rifle that I bought for TT plus 100. Now what do I do? And then I'm like, oh, boy, man. Oh, boy. That, that actually didn't happen. I, I if the, no, nah, it was, it was, there was just an incident once where, like, someone actually, like, I, I made a bad... Uh, the guide wasn't the worst, right? Like, it was just supposed to be an intro, and I was like, just buy everything from the TT and all that, and they didn't understand it. They got some things wrong. They went out, and it was, again, I was trying to make, like, a fast video. They This new player went out and just spent, like... They ended up spending, like, 50 PDs on a gun that they didn't need to. They got ripped off, right? Like, dead to rights, they got ripped off. So I'm like, all right, look, I'll, I'll buy the gun from you for, like, TT plus 50. I guess that's what you paid. And they actually seemed, like, genuinely, like, they, they weren't trying to rip me off. Now that I've said this, I'm not going to do that for any of you guys, but just back then I did. I was nicer, I guess, or more used to it, but uh, or not used to it, I don't know. But I felt bad, so I like removed the video. I, I gave them their PDs. I'm like, all right, we got to we gotta make these videos longer because we need to like fully explain this so people understand why you don't go for the biggest gun you can find or the best gun you can find. you got to look at eco, and you got to be reasonable, reasonable about it. You shouldn't be buying Mayhem Armor and the biggest gun and going out to hunt Hoglo day one because that's... That is not a recipe for success. That's a recipe for Mindark to cover their server costs, plus some extra, right? Um, I'm, I want to. I want to do one more hoglo. I can feel it, folks. Feel it burning in the air. No, I'm not. I'm not gonna start singing. I did start singing. Um, I'm not gonna keep singing. I guess that's what I mean to say, because I feel like <laughs> I feel like the only thing worse than. Uh, the only thing that's going to get a bigger reaction than politics is if I start doing karaoke in the middle of a video. And um, I've never done it before, but I don't think it would be appreciated. Or, or maybe that's my next calling in life, right? Maybe Serial Overdrive is going to become my uh, my stage name. I'm going to be going up a Serial Overdrive singing amazing songs. Maybe that's what I should do. Start a diss track. Go after MGK just like he did to Eminem. It's going to be my come up. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, don't worry about it. <laughs> um, yeah, shout out to... Nah. I, I don't know. What, what music do you guys like? Let me know down below. And make sure you tell me what question I ask. Because some of you guys are going to comment on this like two years from now and be like... You know, it'll, it'll be something random. It's going to be like, let the bodies hit the floor, right? Like, just something like that. And I'm going to be like, what? Why? 
So if you don't tell me what you're talking about, I'm just going to take whatever you put and be like, okay, like, Eminem, why? Like, is he hungry? What's going on here? Why'd this guy, why'd this guy or girl or whatever comment this? And I, I won't know. So if you, if you tell me what you're commenting and why you're commenting, and like, hey, you asked, like, your favorite song, you just say, hey, my favorite song is this, I'll be like, okay, like, I guess I asked that. Or maybe, maybe I won't. Maybe I'll be like, all right, that's cool, dude. But, you know, either way. And if, if you're answering right away, like, I'm probably going to understand what I, what I said. But that's, that's such a common problem, especially when these videos run long. Like, I'll ask a couple questions to you guys, and if you don't frame it right and you just put your answer down there, it's very hard for me to get context because it's, uh, you know, I mean, it's, 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 a, it's a weird conversation, right? Like, when I do this, when I'm on Twitch, it's a little bit easier because you can have that back and forth. But with Twitch, we've got to catch each other at the right times and everything like that, and I've got to be, like, free because if I start if I start Twitch and do a video like this, right, like, do a 30-minute video... 30 minutes in, that's when I'm going to have actually, like, viewers that are communicating with me. And 10 to 20 minutes in, it's just going to be me talking to myself. Generally, that's what I find, right? Like, I'm not I'm not a big streamer. I don't have a huge following. So it takes a while to get some people in that are actually interested in talking or communicating. And if I only have this much time, which is what I have right now, then, you know, we don't, we don't get any sort of conversation going. So it's actually better for me to do this via videos rather than doing it just in a stream because you know you'll get the same thing in a stream it's just going to be a little bit more uh technical support going on in the beginning and it's you know it's, it's not it's not the best scenario i think but yeah you know we can do some back and forth like this in the comments as long as you guys give me that base where you're starting from i'll uh, i'll pick it up from there and we can go we'll go with it Ooh, that was that was a decent loot right there 12 pds 12.4 pds right there doing some math i think i got that right Nope. No, I did. I did get that right. All right, cool. Serial overdraft for the win. That's what happens when you spend a lot of money on a college degree. You can do basic math. Me and every elementary schooler were equals. Except that I spend a lot more money to get that, that quality. That's, that's a quality, right? You know. They get it through public education. I get it through public education and a lot of schooling. See, this is also why I don't do a phase reveal. If my boss realizes I have problems with 7 plus 5, we are, uh, we're going to be having a talk the next day, and it's not going to be the greatest talk. It's going to be like, Serial, were you, were you drunk? I'm going to be like, no. And he's going to be like, oh, boy. I, I was really hoping you'd say yes. You know. It's like, all right, you weren't drunk. Were you, were you high? Were you on drugs? Because we, we can work with that, but... If you're having trouble with basic math, why, why do we trust you with these advanced equations? And I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to lie. And I don't want, I don't want to put my boss in that scenario. I don't want to be in that scenario. So it's, be, it's better you guys don't know who I am. It's better no one sees my face. And they're like, "Serial, that sounds a lot like you." I'll just say, "Yeah," but I'm not an idiot. That's definitely not me. No, no one's ever asked me in real life if I'm serial overdrive. I don't know what I'd do if they did. I'd probably be like, "What? Who?" Who is that? Serial Overdrive. That name is so stupid. Who would, who would name themselves after a cereal box? Do you think I'd be this? No. But, yeah, I don't know what I do. And that's why we don't do the face reveal. A lot of people have been asking recently, but that's, uh, that's pretty much it, right? I just don't want to give people another avenue to fuck with me. You guys, some of you guys are really active on Reddit. It is surprising how many people just. You know, for a month, you'll be downloading, downvoting every comment I do. And then, you know, once a week, I'll get a nice little message from you telling me to go to hell. And then I'll block your account. And then next week, new account, go to hell. And it's like, man. And you, you guys don't say go to hell. You guys are a lot more, uh, a lot more, I don't, I don't want to describe it as creative. But I guess that's what it is. You're a lot more creative than that. Um, but yeah, the hate's not. It's not the greatest thing in the world, and I just would rather that be directed at my online persona rather than my real-life persona. I can't imagine how it is being some of these guys that are actually recognized, because I imagine it's like 99.9% .9 of their interactions are great. Just like, that's my experience, right? But that like 0.1%, as it gets larger and larger, it becomes more and more of a problem. And I can definitely see why some of these guys are like, hating it. I think the biggest example is just Wings of Redemption. If you guys don't know who he is, there's there's literally an industry built around trolling him. Like, a whole industry, people making their careers off of it. And, you know, they're, they're actually getting paid for it. There's people actually getting paid, making money trolling this dude. It's, it's crazy. 
But yeah, that is. Um, I see stuff like that, and I'm like, Haha, we better play this safe. Better make sure everything's uh, locked down. Cause you know, I'm not. I'm not gonna hit puberty and change, right? Like some, you know, if you're 15 years old streaming, by, by the time you're 23, you're gonna be a whole different looking person. You can be like, I don't think that was me. People won't even recognize you, right? Most of the time, you know, hairstyles will change, and you know, you won't be. You know, you, you won't be, you'll mature, right? But, you know, so someone like me, that's that's not going to happen. I, I am who I am, and that, that's that's what we're dealing with. We'll just look at the, they could look at my video and look at me and be like, okay, a few more wrinkles, that's definitely you. Why'd you say this? Or why is this guy bugging me and telling me you said this? And I'll be like, oh, man. Now we've got to explain ourselves, and I don't know how to do that. So, yeah, that's, um, that's what we did. And the honest truth is, too, like, in a 30-minute talk, it's... It's hard to remember. Ooh, boy. We're gonna die. We're gonna die. We're gonna die. Come on, Mr. Hoglo. Don't kill me now. And there we go. I got a little too cocky with the armor. I've got to admit there. I've, I've got to be a little bit more careful, right? Like, I should not be going into that situation not healed, but I did because I just was like, I got this. I got good armor. I'm good to go. We can pull this thing off. And we definitely couldn't. Um... So yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll be a little bit better. And for those of you guys wondering, too, an armor like this, it is it is overkill to use on lower mobs because of the markup that you're paying, like, per hit. But in general, if there's no markup, it's an unlimited armor, you can get the best set you can get and just run with that because Mind Arc made changes that sort of uh, negates a lot of the old the old way of doing things. The old armor guides I made don't apply anymore. Um, and the reason for that is just Mind Arc made some changes to make things a little bit better. And if, if you dive into that, I'm sure I've got other videos. Anyways, let's. Uh, here's what we're going to do. I am getting tired of talking, so we're going to take on one more Hoglo Young, and then we're going to call it a video. We already got a global, so I'm super happy with this. Like, this was, a, this was a perfect recording for me. Honestly, like, I went into it. I was feeling good. I'm still feeling good now. We got a global midway through, and it wasn't wasn't one of those piddly globals where it's like, eh, it counts, but it's only about a couple PDs. It was a solid, like, right in there global. You know, 70 PDs, that is a, that's a solid hit. I don't think it was a Hoff. I didn't, I always just, I see the swirls and I don't associate it with anything. And now I'm looking at all times highs. It definitely wasn't that. I know that much. There's going to be someone that's going to comment. No, definitely not global. Yeah, any anytime I'm like, oh, it wasn't an all-time high or anything like that. There's someone that always comments. is like, Siri, you thought that was an all-time high and you want to be a... Entropia YouTuber, you call yourself a player and you don't know what the minimum Hoff is for today? That is ridiculous. I could do better than you, but if you guys, if you guys believe it or not, there actually is another component to making these videos other than actually knowing facts about Entropia Universe. You've got to be able to communicate them, and the way I do it is on the fly, right? If you want to make a script, you could make a 32-minute script. But if you really want to compete with me video for video, I'm going to be able to outproduce you because 32 minute scripts are very hard to do and it's very hard to record scripts. And it just doesn't sound as good when you're doing these long form type of videos. What I'm doing here, this is um, this is like old school YouTube, right? This is how old school YouTube videos used to be. People would play a game and just talk through it. Um, and I, I don't see that style so much anymore. It's more what you see on a stream. But I like doing it like this. It's just um, you know how I do things. But you just don't see as much of that anymore because it is, it's 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 a it's a skill that you don't see as much, because I think it's not as like profitable or anything like that. Like scripted videos can go can blow up, streams can blow up. It's very hard to do like a mix between the two and have those blow up. So, I, I think you just won't see as many people doing it. And to be honest, if you want to compete with me in something like that, it's not a skill that you really want to focus on. It's it's not worth your time. And I'm not saying that because it's good for me. Uh, anyways. Let's total this all up because I'm going off the rails here. So yeah, if we look at this, we're sitting at 73 PDs. I don't think there's any markup on these things anymore yet. Not really. So yeah, we're sitting at pretty much 73 PEDs flat out. Um, as far as the armor goes, we, or ammo goes, we got 48 PEDs of ammo right here. So we're looking at about 120 PEDs. Take 50 off of that. We're looking at about 70 PEDs profit. Let's dump the stuff into the repair terminal here. Let's pull this out from the 70 PEDs that we got. So we're sitting about 55, yeah, 55. <laughs> um, 
to be exact, would probably see yeah, I would probably sit around 55, 54 PDs of profit. So that was that was actually a pretty good run. That was a nice. This was literally the first time I've ever soloed Hoglo. So I was glad I could take you guys along with me for the ride. Hopefully you enjoyed it. As always, if you got questions, comments, anything like that, feel free to leave them down below. If you want to tell me what music you're liking right now, tell me that down below. I listen to all types of music, so you know. Whether whether you're into Little Lotus or Madonna, Blink-182, or Velvet Revolver, or, you know, Santana, whoever. I'll probably be able to shoot the shit with you, so I'm, I'm curious to hear. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching, and uh, if you have questions, comments, anything like that. Also, I do know some electronic artists, Tiesto, Avicii, yeah, Kanye West, no. Um, I, I'm, I, every, as I start talking this, I'm like, I missed a few genres, and there's just so many. Skrillas, all right. Uh, anyways. Thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions, comments, anything like that, feel free to leave them down below. Otherwise, until next time, peace.